approximately uh, three or four years ago, I got involved with electric marine propulsion uh, with, the, with the benefits of trying to get a monohull or a catamaran in the state of Florida uh, that would be uh, available to the public, available to anybody for a walk-on rental where they could charter or, or have a sailboat for their family and friends and be able to learn about electric propulsion and the lack of pollution of our waters. Uh, when a, when a, everybody knows when an engine starts, it has fumes and has that, but it's a little bit more evasive when you're on the water versus when you're in a car. You have very hot exhaust that's cooled by the water from the ocean and then that water and the exhaust is take, it goes out of the uh, exhaust pipe. They can't help it. That's all they've had. Now we have electric propulsion. We're going to go into details of some of the pricing. It's a little higher than a diesel motor in some cases, but the pollution and the house loads and the, and the other benefits from it far outweigh. And I'm going to let Dave Tether talk about that for a few minutes about the pricing, and then we'll go into some other things. The cost of the system seems somewhat high because it is an entire system. It includes the inverter, which runs off of 144 volts DC, the charger, which charges 144 volts DC, various different options on generators, from AC generators that have uh, large power supplies to uh, dedicated brushless DC generators with auto start and auto shut off. Um, it includes the battery bank uh, uh, and um, uh, monitoring equipment. We have an energy management system that can turn the generators on and off automatically, uh, that can uh, adjust to the charge acceptance rate of various different battery technologies and uh, uh, can be used to uh, microcycle batteries or have long cycles on the batteries or even put your boat in a zero carbon footprint mode in case you want to use it in a sanctuary. Recently we were in Puerto Rico uh, working on a 55 foot catamaran that wanted to go to the three various uh, sanctuaries in and around Puerto Rico where no fossil fuel is allowed. Um, what they do is go to the edge of the, of the sanctuary, make sure their batteries are fully charged, and then they have three hours worth of motoring to go in, see the sanctuary, and motor back out without having any carbon footprint at all. Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, this is the kind of uh, systems that are possible um, and it's all possible uh, for those people that are working with older boats. In fact, my uh, Lagoon 47, which I use as a test boat for all the various different systems uh, uh, that, that we are selling to the public, is a 1995. And uh, we converted it uh, seven years ago. And uh, it's been operating flawlessly ever since then.